from the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, today was the warmest day in three weeks, but we're also going to start to cool back down now. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Tomorrow it looks like highs mainly in the upper 70s to around 80. And then by Wednesday, with clouds and a gusty northeast wind, temperatures only in the 50s. 60 on Thursday, mid 60s by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. All of those temperatures after tomorrow are below normal. Right now, we are looking at mainly 80s out there, away from the cooling effects of the Bay and Lake Michigan. 81 in Chilton, we've got 82 in Fond du Lac, it is 83 in Wapaka, and it's currently 83 degrees in Oconto. It's really a beautiful day across all of eastern Wisconsin. Blue skies, bright sunshine, a nice southwest wind. Temperatures are in the lower 80s right now in Green Bay. We're looking at 81 in downtown Appleton with winds gusting up to around 30 miles per hour. But things could be changing later on this evening into tonight. The Storm Prediction Center does have the entire viewing area under a slight risk for severe thunderstorms. It is quiet right now. There are no watches in effect anywhere across really the upper Midwest once you get west of Lake Michigan. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows that first batch of thunderstorms we had this morning kind of refiring to our east during the afternoon, producing numerous reports of damaging winds and large hail across lower Michigan. But you can see it's quiet now across the NBC 26 viewing area. There are a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across the northwestern part of the state. So there is the potential for severe thunderstorms later on evening into tonight. They'll be looking at damaging winds, large hail, deadly lightning. There could even be a tornado or two. We'll just have to kind of wait and see how the situation develops as we move throughout the evening hours. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows quiet conditions through much of Iowa, northern Illinois, and then we've got some severe thunderstorms now moving north out of Missouri. It's possible we may have to watch this activity for later on this evening into tonight for the threat of severe weather across the eastern part of the state. Once again, the threat is there for damaging winds, large hail, and of course, frequent cloud to ground lightning. All this activity developing ahead of this big monster area of low pressure. This is the system that has been kicking off all the severe weather the last several days across the country. High temperatures ahead of the system in the 70s and 80s, behind it 50s and 60s, and that's the cooler weather that's going to arrive by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Precision cast at midnight tonight shows widespread showers and thunder thunderstorms across the area. That may be the timeline for getting those thunderstorms in here. Tomorrow morning, clouds, maybe a thunderstorm will break into sun and clouds during the afternoon. And then once again, a chance for some more thunderstorms. And once again, some of those thunderstorms could be on the strong to severe side. Not only do we have the potential for severe weather, but any thunderstorms that move through will also produce heavy rain. It's not out of the question. We could see an inch or two of rain as we head through the next couple of days. So tonight, thunderstorms developing. Overnight lows will be in the lower 60s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds, more thunderstorms, upper 70s to around 80. Much cooler on Wednesday with clouds and showers, maybe a thunderstorm and a gusty northeast wind. A few lingering showers early Thursday, then decreasing clouds with sunshine by the afternoon, mostly sunny on Friday, highs in the mid 60s. As we head into Memorial Day weekend, it looks like it's going to be cool but pleasant for Saturday and Sunday. A chance for some thunderstorms by Memorial Day. We'll just have to uh, wait and see if that actually develops or not. We've got a new uh, website here I want you to check out. It's NBC26.com. It's the weather page. It's new and upgraded. You can track the thunderstorms this evening on Precision Radar. Of course, we'll also have any uh, watches and warnings right away. They'll show up on the website. It's just a great site. If, uh, if we're not on live, you can always go there and keep track of what's going on. And I'll be watching the skies closely tonight, and uh, we'll break in if conditions warrant. All right. Thank you so much, Cameron. Okay. Now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6 o'clock. Stacey Engelbretts enjoy.